Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Growing Together, episode 3. So, last time we finished the treehouse, we visited the Splash Park area, and we made some friends. Kailani was here. What we need to start off with is putting Katie to sleep and she has her tooth so I want her to place the tooth under her pillow and sleep. As you can see she's so tired it's almost 10 p.m. so hopefully yeah she can still do that even though it's a loft bed. It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky when you wake up you'll have a nice surprise from the tooth fairy waiting for you in your inventory. Okay, cool. So she's off to bed. Um, We have a dust bunny because I have enabled the whole dust system. I've never played with it before. Have we? Okay, we have just finished our school work assignment as well. Okay, so the dust bunnies may help find a few simoleons under the couch, but at the cost of your clean home. What can you do with it? You can befriend them and pet them. Oh no, step on. And obviously you can vacuum them. I feel like maybe Cassie would want to be friends with it. Can I move it to her room? I would like to do that. There we go. She can deal with the dust bunny. Maybe Miles can quickly vacuum this off. Because it's getting a little bit grimy in here. He does need sleep as well. I think we're good. I've never used the vacuum before. I know. That's crazy. I've had this pack since it came out, but I've never used it. I think we're good with the vacuuming. I'm gonna put him to bed. Anyways, while they're sleeping, I wanted to talk about this episode. So like I said, I wanna go to the rec center because we haven't really left this a lot much and we can go meet our grandparents. Maybe not everyone's gonna come. I think maybe we'll take like one of the infants, one parent and Cassie. I definitely want to do that, but obviously it's another school day, so we'll have to wait until Cassie's back. Okay, Tate is awake as well, so I'm obviously gonna have Kellen just take care of the infants for now. We've seen him do that plenty of times, so I'm probably not gonna show it all, but I'll update you guys if something happens. And then, obviously it's the middle of the night, it's literally midnight, so we'll probably be back in the morning. Okay, I have not seen that before, I did not know they could put... A foot in their mouth. Okay, that was a new thing. Toe in mouth, milestone unlocked. Wow, Tate managed to stick his toe in his mouth. What a cute display of flexibility. That actually was absolutely adorable. <gasps> what the heck? Babble, milestone unlocked. Is that similar? Not quite, but getting close. In a very basic form, Tate is starting to communicate his feelings. Socializing with more sims and even stuffed animals will surely help shape those syllables into full words. That is amazing. We have not gotten that before. Yeah. Apparently our tummy time spot is right here outside. We can't do it in the house. I'm kind of feeling like moving to a bigger place, but there's no way we're doing that already. But right now we're doing our first tummy time with Tate. Hopefully he can learn to lift his head and then eventually sit up. But yeah, we already got the lift head milestone. So we just have to keep at it. It is 4 a.m. But who cares? I'm gonna play a lullaby for him so he can go to sleep. Oh my god, I thought he was covering his ears like he didn't like it. Okay, that's freaking adorable. By the way, the dust bunny is gone. I feel like we got rid of it. Even though we only vacuumed, vacuumed in this room, I, again, have not played with him before. So apparently that got rid of it, but I'm sure we'll get another one at some point. Um, we really need to change Leah's diaper, but I'm gonna let her sleep until she's ready to wake up. Maybe though, we can serve breakfast for everyone. Okay, Miles is up now too. I just noticed he has this dazed moodlet. Mental fog from starting to burn out. Mouse is starting to feel woozy from his mental load. Maybe he should take a break or exercise some creative skills before it gets worse. That honestly sounds kind of ominous. Maybe, uh, oh my god. Oh, the toilet's broken for real. We're just gonna replace that. I'm gonna have him brush his teeth just to get his hygiene up. And he does like wellness, so maybe he should come out here and do a yoga routine. Family friendly? I've never seen that one before. 
Yeah, sure. Let's do that one. Maybe that will help his burnout. How's our yoga routine going? Oh, you're facing the house? I wish you were facing your sunning backyard. Oh, it is making this go away, as you can see. 89? We just got 89 simoleons. Oh my gosh, was that from the Tooth Fairy? A fair trade was made, but be not dismayed. Soon you'll have an upgrade. What on earth does that mean? Did we get something? Oh yeah, we got a Tooth Fairy poster. Can we fit that in our room somewhere? Our room is a little bit crowded. Maybe right there? Okay, cool. We're feeling confident from Tooth Fairy time. A gift from the Tooth Fairy can take the sting out of a lost tooth. Oh, and here's our milestone as well. Okay, well, we're off to school. Does that mean you're going, are you just standing there? This is not the family, okay, friendly yoga routine. At least you're doing something. All right, but you do have to go to work. So we'll continue this later. <gasps> Holy crap, she is dirty. What are you doing? You're dirty as, wait, what happened? <laughs> what just happened? He just took a shower a couple of hours ago. What on earth happened? Okay, at this point, we need to actually give her a bath. <laughs> Look at them be stinky together. That is so bad. But at least we get to see another adorable little bath time. Oh my gosh, he also needs a bath. <laughs> Look at this angle that I've just got for us. <laughs> of the cute infant bath that's actually adorable. He is such a good dad. We'll need to put her down so that we can clean up this place and also take a shower. <laughs> what? She has little bubbles on her head. Are you joking? Why is that so cute? Is that intentional? Oh my god, he's so stinky. I just want a cute picture of her bubble head. Look at that. <laughs> okay, how is she? How is she stinky? Guys, she literally just had a bath. What is going on? And now we're tired. Oh my gosh. There's just too much going on. I love that she has bubbles on her head and she's seeing it like how? Literally how? You're also awake. How are you doing? <laughs> You're using your diaper. Can you somehow entertain yourself? Don't fuss or cry. Oh gosh. Diaper change disaster. Is this what happened earlier? Is that why they both got so dirty? But it's not happening now, so maybe we're good? We're just trying to take care of the babies and Kailani's calling us. Somehow we're gonna try and take this phone call as well. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know why he's feeling sad. He's tired, so that probably has something to do with it. Oh my god. Let's um, wait, sleep next to Apollo? What does that even mean? But we are gonna babble at the dog. I feel like that's adorable. Honestly, taking care of two infants is a full-time job. I don't even know how he's doing it. <laughs> Look how cute he is. I haven't seen them grab this toy before from the little playpen. He's adorable. <gasps> Cassie got her grades up again? She's now an A student? Okay, I am impressed. She's feeling super tense. Um, She needs some fun. Also, she needs to shower. Maybe we'll start with the shower. I mean, might as well take a bubble bath. That should give, that should get both of the needs up. And then in like an hour, once Miles is home, um, we should go to the rec center. These two are still sleeping. I even put Kellen to sleep. I feel like he needed it. Oh my God, even Apollo is sleeping. I'm so proud of Cassie. She overcame her fear. She has high confidence now. And she's a great A student. How are her character values doing? So her responsibility is really high. The rest of them, mm, nothing too much. Emotional control is down a little bit. <gasps> burned out, oh no, I didn't even have him work hard. Miles is burned out. Burnout negatively impacts work performance and promotions, energy, fun, and skill gain. He'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. If Miles stays burnt out for too long, his condition may get worse. Oh my God, this is scary. It's like an orange pop-up. 
Um, yeah, burned out 24 hours. Miles should really take a break before this becomes a full on brain block. Maybe we'll take a day off work tomorrow or work from home maybe, because that is an option. We definitely need to do some more yoga, spend some more time with his kids as well. He will be home in just a little bit. How are his needs doing? He also needs a shower. How's everyone in this family? So stinky all the time. Honestly, this whole family is a mess. Lydia clearly needs a bath. And then why is he even taking a bath? And then Miles needs a bath. I'm just gonna leave everyone, honestly. And <laughs> Cassie is currently like the most unproblematic, which is so funny. She was supposed to be our problem child, but those two are becoming way more problematic. So we're gonna take her and we're gonna go over to the rec center with our grandparents. So we haven't been here yet. It's called Celebration Center. Ooh, it's a good study spot. So maybe we can do our homework. Um, we're gonna take Amelia and Ethan. Oh, she has good compatibility with both of them. So these are our grandparents. We're gonna leave everyone else. We're not even gonna invite Kailani. I mean, her grandparents invited her out to meet them. So why shouldn't she go? They're completely capable of looking after her. So let's say hello. Let's ask about her favorite fashion. Wow, that sim is very pretty. Loving that CZ hair on her. Oh, we can ask for help with bike riding. Maybe our grandma can help with that. But yeah, here we are at the rec center. I'm considering giving it a makeover. I already kind of started it, but then I don't know. I can't think of anything to do with the actual building, but I want to like change the inside because obviously this has been built with just one pack and base game. I think it would be fun. Like this gym is horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so plain and gray. I want to add more things and look how much space there is. I feel like we could do a pool. We could do loads of things outside as well. Are we? Yeah, we're learning our bike now. Oh my god, she's so cute. So yeah, this is Amelia. This is Miles's mom. Oh, she's so cute. She's an adult, so she's an elder, obviously. Not yet. <laughs> she's so supportive. That's sweet. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, we just reached Mono level 3. I Yeah, I think that was part of our um aceration so we just have to finish this thing that i failed to do last time but yeah we should probably go wait oh my god maybe we can go do a puzzle with our grandparents i've lost our grandpa i do not know where he is but yeah there's like an even a kitchen area a little toddler play area there he is um a little gym and then upstairs obviously we have a musical area and like an arts and crafts area it's a huge lot. Oh, we're already doing a puzzle. How's this going? Like how long until we actually learn? I don't know, but that's enough for now. I want us to go and change this game to puzzles. Who is here with a bag on their head? Why? Oh my gosh, who are you? It's Jeb. Oh, and there's, um, what's his name? Oh, wait, <laughs> I still don't recognize Alexander Goth. That's him? I literally thought that was someone else. Ethan is chatting to um two different women already. Maybe come over here and play with your grandchild. Let's do a 250 piece puzzle. We can do fantasy. <gasps> Winged unicorn? Um, heck yeah. Can everyone join? I don't know how to get them to join. There's nothing to click except steal a piece. I guess we could do sit together, but she's already started on the puzzle. Just taking a couple of pictures of her because she's adorable. Oh, okay. Well, multiple people have joined us. Hilary Laurent is here as well. She's actually helping us with the puzzle. These two, not so much. Let's talk about school with our grandpa. Um, make fun of adults, joke about our teachers, I kind of wanted to beg for new toys. I wonder where that would be in here. Oh, it's under complaints, let's beg for new toys, and obviously resume our puzzle. 
<laughs> he's just giving us a question mark. He's not really getting our humor. That's okay. Oh, what the heck are you doing? That looks so cool. So she's playing a whole different game all by herself. Mm. I feel like she should be here with her granddaughter, but it is what it is. Okay, let's finish this puzzle. There was a lot of pieces to it. Oh, he's helping now. Okay, cute. Even more people are joining. Janae is here as well. And there's a random ghost here. Felix? <gasps> Look at our puzzle coming together. <gasps> I think it's done. Okay, wait, let's see. Oh, it's this way. There's the unicorn. Yay! Okay, everyone's happy. What Mula did we just get? The assembler from completing a puzzle. Great sense of satisfaction. Okay, perfect. I kind of want to like frame that. And we also do need to do our homework. I do want to do that before we go back. There we go. We've taken the puzzle. Let's do our homework. Why are you running away? Are you scared of the ghost? And then Cassie's just chilling. Literally, where is everyone going? Is this place closing or something? <gasps> did they just leave her here? Excuse me. We were in a group together. How did our group just get disbanded? <laughs> She's at the rec center by herself. Um, Let's not tell our parents about this. It was still nice seeing them. I'm happy we got the puzzle. We definitely want to show that to our parents. Hopefully they have time to look at it and they're not too busy. We should have started on her school project as well. Does it have a deadline? But we're already a grade A student, so as long as we don't get like demoted or whatever, which I feel like it's not gonna happen. I wanted to ask the grandparents to help us with our homework, but they both just took off, so this is taking forever. We're not too happy because we need food, we need the toilet, we need to go to sleep, but she's <laughs> trying to be a good student and not be inferior. She wants to be the best. She has high confidence. She needs to get this done. It's almost midnight, but we have to do it before school tomorrow. Luckily, we're almost done. Okay, we're gonna travel home now and hopefully we don't get back to a freaking disaster. Okay, we're back. I already hear babies crying. I'm putting Cassie to sleep. She can have breakfast in the morning. I know she's a little bit hungry. How are you doing? You're just hungry as well. You're still tense oh, from being burned out, but look at his knees. Okay, perfect. We can take care of the little baby. So let's bottle feed Lydia. How are you doing? Your knees are great as well. And um, where are you? You're just over here. You're just chilling out. Um, we should feed him as well. <gasps> okay, I love that. He's feeding her, sitting down. We haven't seen that that many times. The movie has just finished as well. This is also bringing down our burning out moodlet, which is good. I want to do more tummy time with Tate because I want him to learn to sit up. I feel like that would be super, super cool. Is he going to do his little spitting? Oh my god, gross. <laughs> and these two... Okay, it's just finished feeding as well. I want to put her in a back carrier because he hates being held. I feel like she should be okay with it. <gasps> oh my god! No. Look at them! Oh my god, don't, don't rage with the baby on you. Can you do yoga with the baby on you? That would be amazing. I know you can do a bunch of things. Oh, you can't? No! Okay, well... We'll put her down in her crib, I guess. Is she tired? Oh yeah, she's so sleepy. Oh hey, now we're facing our backyard. This isn't a bad spot to do some yoga. You can even put a baby down here if you want to. What are we doing? Yep, we're doing tummy time in our official tummy time spot. I really, really would love for him to learn to sit up. It's always such a struggle, I feel so bad for them. Oh, now he's smiling. And then he's gonna go back to crying, isn't he? No, he's doing okay, okay. He's having an okay time. We're feeling focused. I love wellness. Okay, burnt out. It's going down. Do we have it in here? First time burning out. Take a break. Oh, 
roll over to back milestone unlocked <gasps> he did it on his Jim own well aside he just rolled over on his own for the first time a monumental first step towards being more independent okay so eventually he can learn to uh, roll over the other way look at all of these put toe in mouth roll over to back so the next one is roll over to tummy it looks like we've got all of our firsts and our social, learn to babble. Okay, great. So we might age them up sooner than 12 days, honestly. Let's play some peekaboo with him. He likes just being on the ground. So I want to do interactions where he can stay there. But I was trying to look at his milestone. So burning out isn't like a permanent thing. It's just a first. I will still take the day off work tomorrow. All right, both the infants are off to sleep. These parents, their needs are still pretty high up. Maybe he would relax by, you know, playing a little bit of basketball. I think this would be good. And he's relaxing by doing his yoga. Oh, maybe we should take Apollo for a walk. Honestly, I don't think we have ever done that. <laughs> Let's go for a jog, actually. I know it's the middle of the night, but he his needs are good. So he doesn't need sleep just yet. And we're taking tomorrow off. <gasps> Look at him in his harness. Perfect. Okay, great. Finally, he gets some actual exercise. Talking about the dog here. And this definitely bringing down our burnout, which is really, really good. He needed some time for himself, so I'm happy. We are jogging so far away from our house, but I guess we're getting to see the neighborhood. Um, He really needs a shower though. Like this is getting ridiculous. Okay, I think we're gonna head home now, hopefully. But yeah, this is the neighborhood. This is, um, aren't we at, wait, where are we? Isn't this Gilbert Gardens? <gasps> Stunning little area over here with a random man there. This beautiful, like, kind of greenhouse looking place that we cannot enter. There's the rec center. And then obviously the splash park and our house. Everyone else is still asleep. We're feeling good from a good workout and good walk from walking the dog. Perfect. I think we should spend the whole day of Thursday making sure the infants, oh my god, look at this, lull to sleep, making sure they have unlocked all of their milestones and then we can start planning their birthday party because there's a lot to do once they're toddlers as well, honestly. We've already got all of their quirks, um, the milestones, we've unlocked most of them. I don't know where you can see or if you can see the whole thing about how well they've been like taken care of, if they feel secure and stuff. I completely forgot what that thing is called. <gasps> Look at all three of these <laughs> sleeping together. That's actually so, so cute. <gasps> okay, we've got a new milestone. Okay, perfect. I said I wanted to do all the milestones. Slept through the night, milestone unlocked. They said it wasn't possible, but Lydia finally slept through the night. No fussing, crying, or interruptions. Just peace and quiet. And maybe some snoring. That is so cool. I didn't even know that was a milestone. Oh yeah, she does not have as many firsts as her brother. I thought we could maybe check out the milestones that like haven't been unlocked yet. But no, you can't see that. So I can't see all the ones that there are. But we are getting a lot of them done. It's so nice having both the parents in the house today. And I think Miles is feeling a little bit better. I don't see the burnout anymore. Oh, it's not even in here anymore. So I think he's gone through it. <gasps> Wait, Amelia is here? Let's invite her in. She can come help with the babies. Kind of nice to see her, especially <laughs> without um Ethan. Because Ethan, mm, we're not. The bestest of friends. We're doing tummy time. Um, Tay's got one of his favorite toys. There's just so many chores to do and so much baby care to do. <gasps> We're doing tummy time in the bedroom. Oh my god. We can fit in here to do this. And he's doing pretty good. I'm just hoping they'll both learn 
to sit up. Look at Amelia helping us with the chores. Honestly, a proper grandma. Yes, okay, she also learned to roll over to her back. Perfect. Lydia has unlocked babbling. We're celebrating her milestone. That's really cute. And yeah, we'll have a chance to have a word with our mom, share baby pictures. No way, that is actually adorable. Let's express some admiration as well. Cassie wants to invite Pierce over, that's perfectly fine. Maybe Pierce can help us with our school project. Or maybe we can play in the treehouse for a little bit. So. These two are sharing the baby pictures. It's cute. These two are still uh, very close, even if him and his dad aren't. Swap baby milestone stories? That's adorable. These two are playing in the treehouse. <gasps> Look at them! Oh my god, they're pirates. Okay, that's so cool. Great, if yesterday was a disaster, today's a good day. These guys are all getting along, their needs are good, the babies are sleeping, Cassie is playing with her friends, and now she's gonna go play with dolls in the dollhouse. Oh yeah, we needed to start on this. Maybe we'll actually start that now. Maybe we can even get Kellen to come assist her. I mean, obviously, Cassie is kind of a perfectionist now. She's becoming a perfectionist and she wants this to turn out perfect. So she will accept her dad's help. But I think I will leave this part here. I've been playing for over an hour. I doubt this episode is super long, but let me know what to do in the next episode. Should we age up the infants or is there a lot to do still with them that I haven't done yet that you guys know of? Because let me know. And I definitely do want to explore the infant gameplay. But if we do have a science baby soon, we're gonna have one more infant in the family so we have time with that infant as well but give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it's just been nice cozy family gameplay meeting the grandparents unlocking infant milestones and all of that but i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one bye